when I come has some fries for users here yeah 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 let's get started when it comes to to movies it's very rarely I get surprised with what I'm gonna get and it I mean I can pretty much tell what a movie's gonna be at times when I look at say a poster or watch a trailer but for a movie but for this movie June again I only saw the poster and I'm just gonna say that poster looks like I'm gonna get a road trip movie like somewhere at the end of there I don't know, a parent at the end of their life is, at an old age, is going on a road trip with her kids, who are all grown up. That, that's what I sort of got, or something like that. But why was I completely wrong? This is a very different movie, and for it, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. But, so what is the premise of this? We have, so this early woman is suffering from dementia. And all of a sudden, she suddenly is starting to get over it. But it's a bit of a reprieve. It will, it won't last. So she escapes the from the facility that she's in, and reunites with her family, only to see it they're pretty much broken apart over the five years that she's been suffering from from dementia. She tries to get reconnect with her kids and bring everything back to the way it was, but isn't. But is having trouble, both connecting. Certainly, affairs that have been uh, certainly trying to mend breakups that have happened, as well as as well as trying to find a sense of normality, which she is trying to to gain. Along with trying to figure out a bit of a trying to reconnect for a long lost flame. Um. So this is basically a film that, in many ways, um. Is something I shouldn't usually hate. Um, well, not not like. I mean, the cliches. I mean, the parents who just won't accept change and want things to go back to the way it was. Um, um, the and uh, you know the misunderstandings, the you know the corniness of certain moments. Like it's something I normally would not like. But for some he reason, here it actually works. And we'll get to the reasons to why I think it, it actually works for me. But the basic idea, the premise is actually pretty good. I mean, I find it interesting, you know. It's cool, it's, it's, it's not bad here. Not bad to see. Again, keep me surprised um, the whole way through. And engage is a great thing. And with, especially with the use of these cliches. It, it's important to see how much it works. So yeah, and I think the main reason for that is the performance from Noni Hazelhurst, who you may remember as one of the presenters from Play School. She is uh, amazing in this movie, bar none. She 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 totally excels as playing this um woman who who is fine, who's basically woken up into this world that she doesn't even know, and trying to mend the bridges and get her family back for however long she's got left with this return of her of her old mind and you know she she plays with a bit of, and you know it's heartbreaking to see her struggle to to get what she wants and get her old life back for whatever however long she's got left before the dementia her dementia returns it, it's heartbreaking to see her just you know as she begins to slowly give up and reconnecting with her children as well as finding an old as I said her old her old flame it's I mean the other actors do a good job of what they're given but Hazelhurst is the standout with that said there are problems uh, I think this the music in this is pretty weak um, it sort of goes into the cheesy of, of this film and everything um, the awkward moments can stand out, especially when she brings, she has the whole family return just so she can have a sit down and discuss things and sort of get back everything. Though, especially when she invites her son's ex-wife, that's a bit of, 
bit of a uh, shot. Surprised I will admit. Um, it, it's implied that she's pregnant when she comes in, but after that scene, you don't see the ex-wife again. Um, the family and her her family is uh, absolute can be absolute aren't actually the best. Um, they can be unlikable at times. I mean, the daughter um, isn't isn't willing to assist with her mum. The son could be is not not a fan of of everything that's happening because she's come her, his mum's come back has basically ruined his life. He's tried to remain make stable. The son was a bit of is a bit of a jerk too. Um, the grandson, the oldest grandson, well, the only one she knew before everything's changed. Um, he's fine, but yeah, the adults are uh, the best. And the ending, well, basically the main premise is for her is to try and find this old flame, uh, an old boyfriend. But at first, it looks like she's going to find it, find him, but by stopping it, by you know walking on. Trying to stop him before he goes to work. She ends up not going through with it, and you know, it's a bit of a sacrifice. And you know, it seems to be going okay, especially as her memory starts to dwindle. I think she feels that she's got a family, she's got her kids now. She wants to spend the rest of the time with her kids and bond with them again. But then, when she does, when her dementia finally returns and she's placed back in the home, all of a sudden. Um, the old flame returns and is working where she at the dementia house and he connects the dots because he she stole the the um, the dresser that she that he made for her but her son sold in those five years yada yada, yada. Um, confusing and it's implied that he has a room full of all old things that the kids sold in a yard sale. Uh, it's uh, a bit awkward. Yeah, um, but I guess um, you're wondering why this actually works for me. Well, I had to think about it, and I think it works because I see this a lot. I work in aged care, and it. And I've seen patients with dementia, and you know, it's heartbreaking to see. And you know, and I feel that this film sort of shows and doesn't dumb down what might happen. Look, I don't know the f of how it fully can work, and you know, families are, and, and this does feel very dramatized, but in a way, it feels authentic and. Honestly, I, I give it praise. This is actually this is actually handled pretty well. So in the end, June again ended up being a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, I've got problems, and to be honest, I'm not sure when I would see this film again. It, and my opinion may change over time. I mean, it may change for the best, may change for the worst, may you know still remain the same, but my same things I liked may hate but certain things I hate I may like. It's it's an interesting film. I think it will change over time, but for now I'm I'm satisfied giving this a skip a six and a half out of ten has stars. It's a decent film. Um it ended up being a surprise. I'd say, you know, good Australian film. So uh, what's next? Um well my next film I will I've already got a plan for what I'm gonna see next in theaters. Um, other than that, though, I might have I might have some ideas for for something uh, video game related, but that, that's really about it. Plus, I've still got plenty of uh, things for before the flick. So, in the meantime, has some answer users out, and I'll see you for my next my next video. Ciao.